Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the backhand, both the one-handed and the two-handed backhand. And I want to show you a method of putting a power supply into your backhand that will give you loads more power and probably more consistency as well. Now, whether it's the two-handed backhand or the one-handed backhand, as you take the racket back, then the left hand should be above the right hand. You see, in the one-hander, it's in this position, and then in the two-hander, it's in this position. They can be a long way above, or they can be a little way above. That depends on the personal style of the player. But in both instances, the racket goes back with the hand above, with the left hand above the right hand. But then as you go into the stroke, the left hand drops below the right hand, and then we make the stroke. And this makes a more powerful stroke. But the way that you drop the left hand below the right hand really makes a significant difference to how much power you get. First of all, let me show you the movement, and then I'll show you how to make the movement to get way more power. So in the two-hander, left hand above, left hand below, and hit. In the one-hander, left hand above, left hand below, and hit. If I show you without the racket, sometimes it's a little easier. So two-hander, above, below, and hit. One-hander, above, below, and hit. So we always begin with the left hand above, and then the left hand drops below and we get more power. It makes the stroke flow and it uses a little bit of gravity to help with the power of the swing. But there's a better way than dropping the left hand below the right hand. So in your two-handed backhand, instead of dropping the left hand below the right hand, you pull the right hand above the left hand. You see, if I drop the left hand below the right hand, then now the left hand is being pulled back and then it has to reverse and go forwards. If I show you with one hand, you'll see back, reverse, and forwards. But if the right hand pulls forwards and up, then the left hand drops. And now I have a natural flowing motion. If you practice this and shadow stroke it now, you'll feel it in your stroke. So for the two-handed backhand, don't drop the left hand below the right hand, pull the right hand above the left hand, and you'll get much more natural uh, momentum into the stroke. For the one-handed backhand, there's also a more efficient way, an effective way, of dropping the racket. So look here, I simply drop the racket, put the left hand below the right and swing. And there's no momentum or energy in my right hand. Everything has to be generated by muscle and power. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the left hand pushing down and the right hand is resisting the push. So look, I'm pushing down and the right hand's resisting it. I push down, I resist it, and then I let it drop. So the right hand's resisting the left hand, and then I release and let it drop. Resist, release, and hit. And now, resist, release, and hit. When you make the drop this way, with the right hand stopping the drop, and then allowing it, then you get much more force and momentum into the stroke. Again, if you shadow stroke it now, you'll feel resist the drop, allow the drop, and hit. And you'll feel the massive difference in racket speed and power. Apply these two methods of dropping the left hand below the right hand and you'll find that you have way more power and very easy speed in your backhands. I hope this makes sense. I'd love to know how it works in your game or the players that you work with. And as ever, if you like my ideas, have a look at our books on Amazon. We provide very detailed scientific breakdown of the strokes and then super simple solutions with great illustrations making it easy to apply to your game and easy to make change. And if you really want to make change in your game, have a look at what we're doing with online coaching. We're helping players in over 30 countries of all ages and all levels with a unique blend of video analysis and one-to-one -one videos personalized for your game such as this. So to energize your backhand, make sure that your left hand drops below the right hand. But it doesn't just drop below. It drops below in the right way. In the two-handed backhand, the right hand pulls up and the left hand drops down. In the one-hand backhand, create that conflict and fight between the two hands, and then the right hand gives in, allows the left hand to go down, and you will have a more powerful, more energetic, and easier backhand almost immediately. Thanks for watching, and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.